And as Utah lawmakers work to fight the opioid crisis, patients who really need drugs to manage chronic pain are being forced off of their meds. That's according to a lobbyist and a family who spoke to ABC4's Andrew Reeser, saying forced tapering can have devastating consequences. Oh, it's a kitty. Darlene Palmer's husband, Adam, died by suicide in January. He was fun. He was a fun, fun guy. He always had a smile on his face. Hi, kids. So we're going to go to a restaurant, sushi or something. Stripped of insurance coverage, Adam Palmer was forced off his meds, which managed his chronic pain. Pain caused by a tick bite in Utah's mountains 10 years ago that left him with a rare sickness. It was excruciating for him. After suffering severe withdrawals, Darlene says her husband became hopeless. His chronic nerve pain becoming too much to bear. He just didn't want to suffer anymore. We can do a lot better. It's cases like this that have Utah lobbyist Amy Coombs concerned that patients who need pain medications are getting them taken away too abruptly because of fears surrounding the opioid epidemic, forcing them to the brink. You either um, choose to not be here anymore because you're in so much pain, you go out on the street and you find drugs, or you sit and suffer until you figure it out. Coombs has been working with Utah lawmakers, arguing forced tapering is leading to more suffering, hoping to strike a balance in the next legislative session between fighting the opioid problem and keeping patients safe. The CDC has admitted doctors and insurance companies may be misapplying its 2016 guidelines, which advise doctors against abrupt tapering or sudden discontinuation of opioids. The night before um, he like left, he gave us all hugs and stuff and told us how much um, he loved us. Adam's daughter Kelsey says she hopes her family can spark change in honor of her dad. I'm happy he's not in pain anymore. In Pleasant Grove, Andrew Reeser. Even though we do miss him. <laughs> ABC4 News. Coombs spoke to a legislative task force about this problem earlier this month, and there's a bill file up for debate next session.